guys, welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Living. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a dirt hole set for coyotes and foxes. First thing you want to do is you want to find the proper location. So I'm right along a field right here, right along this edge line. And there's a trail running through here and there's another field over there as long as another trail over there. So this is a prime location because coyotes and foxes will be running these trail lines and everything. So this is where I'm going to make my set. So let's get started. Okay, so I have my spot picked out so I'm just going to clear out the area. Okay, so the area is cleaned out. So I'm going to start to make a bed. So I'm going to go about a uh, pinky to a thumb back. So right there is going to be where the center of my bed is. Now I'm just going to throw the dirt off onto the side right here. And when you're making the bed of your trap, you don't want to make it too big so that the trap is loose. You just want to make it the right size. And you want to kind of make the bed in the shape of a bowl. So the chain can go in the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to set my trap. See how the size is going to look like. Oh shit. Okay, so the trap set. I have to make it a little bit bigger. That looks about good, so I'm gonna get the cable down in the hole. Okay, and I'm gonna set the cable. Okay, now it's set. Press my trap down in. Okay, and so now since since you don't want any movement to be within the trap because a coyote will Sense that movement, then he'll take off. Just want to press around the edges, and if there's any movement, you just want to press dirt in, make it so it doesn't move. Because coyotes will feel it right under the foot when they're around your set, and if they do, you don't want them to bolt off and then them to become trap sensitive. Yeah, so I have to add a in a little bit more dirt right here. And I usually just use the excess dirt that I took from bedding my trap. Just need a little bit more dirt right in around the jaws. And I usually have the dog facing where my hole is going to be. Need something right around here. Okay, that's good. Okay, so now I'm going to put peat moss over my trap. I use peat moss because it doesn't freeze. Oh, 
Oh, sh okay. And before, instead of doing that, you want to, instead of me using pan covers, I usually take leaves and put them underneath the pan of your trap. Because if dirt gets under there, it'll prevent the trap from getting set off. So I usually just put some leaves under there. You want to do that before you do the dirt, by the way. Some people use trap covers or pan covers, but I just do this. It's cheaper. And when you are putting peat moss or whatever kind of dirt you put over your trap, you want the pan to be the lowest point because the coyote or the fox, whatever you're trapping, that's his... That's where he's going to want to put his foot, at the lowest point. And you just want to use the sifter because you don't want any rocks to be in your dirt. Okay, so my pan is right there. So I usually go about 9 inches or a pinky to a thumb back. This is where my dirt hole is going to be. So my dirt hole is going to be right there. Okay, so I'm going to get my hole put in. I usually just use my stake driver, I push it in, and then I just make big old circles. And when you are doing your dirt hole, you want it to be like up and down as much as possible because you want the coyote to have to look into it. You don't want him to have to like stoop down to his level, you want him to get right over the hole. So, I put my rock there. Okay. And sometimes what I also do is I'll just take some of the dirt from the bed of my trap and put it over the peat moss. I do that because peat moss, peat moss is very light and if there's wind it could blow away. And it also it just helps it blend in the trap a little bit. It still looks like there's dis disturbance and you want disturbance. But just helps it blend in the trap a little bit more. So now that I have my hole dug and my trap bedded, I'm gonna get out my lure. And when you're trapping coyotes, especially, I'm a scent freak because coyotes will pick up scent from really far away. So I use trap setting gloves now. So use lure setting gloves. So. Whenever I lure my traps, I always use a urine. I'm just going to be using a coyote urine today. And if I were to trap fox, I'd use a fox urine. And you could also use a fox urine for coyotes too, because coyotes hate foxes. So I'm going to put this right over on top of my backing. And you always want a good backing too. And I use the rock backing because there's a rock wall right over there so it looks natural. So I have my pee down. Now I am going to put in a bait. So this is a bait mixture of just like beef, fish, and you, you want to be pretty generous when you're using bait. So I'm going to put that right down in the hole. And I'm going to put some leaves inside the hole so the coyote has to investigate a little more and work the set a little bit more. And then I am going to put down a call lure. This is a canine call. So just get a stick. And I do not put this in the dirt hole. I put it right on top, like where my urine is. So, the trap has been set. The lure has been done. And uh, that's pretty much the whole set right there. There is the final set. So... Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. 
And um, I'm going to link everything down in the des description. Trapping is such an awesome sport that you guys should definitely get a part of. And hopefully my video helped you. So have a great day, you guys. Peace.